All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a freeform SQL report. Uh, this should be a relatively quick video, so let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create a new report. And I'm going to choose from the tabs at the top here, I'm going to choose freeform sources. And I'm going to check this option down here, create freeform SQL report. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And that should bring up the um, freeform SQL report editor. And here we go. Now make sure you select the database instance at the top. You may have multiple databases that a project is using. Um, so just make sure you select the right one at the top here for database instances. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is in this window here, we're going to enter our SQL statement. Um, so we're going to do a relatively simple SQL statement here. We'll do select order date key product key and we'll do a sum unit price as unit price. This would be the column alias. And then we'll do a sum sales amount as sales amount. And we'll do from, um, I think we're going to do video. Actually, you know what? Let me just, I'll just copy and paste the table name in here. There we go. That's the table. And we'll do where, we'll just filter a few records here. We'll filter for a few dates. Order date key in. And we'll just do one date. Okay, great. Now we'll add our group by. Okay, great. Now, what you want to do is you notice here we'll have we have one, two, three, four columns. Okay, two of them are attributes, date and product, and then the other two are metrics. So you come down to this bottom section here, and you're going to want to put them in order, right? So the first column selected is order date, so that's going to be the first one we add. So we'll right click, add new attribute form. Again, copy and paste the column name down here. Now. One thing I want to point out here is if you wanted to use attribute forms, right? So if you wanted to create a form of order date, right? So instead of ID, you wanted to have a description. Okay, what you do is, let's say you had, um, I don't know, order, I'm, I'm going to delete this, but order description, right? And you wanted that, you didn't want that to be a separate column, right? You wanted that to be a form of order date key. What you would do is you would just copy, copy this. You just do add new attribute form, you paste it in here, and then you choose description right here. That's how you create a form, right? Okay, so let's let's remove that because we don't want to do that. And then we'll do we'll add another attribute form and we'll make that product key. Now these next two fields are metrics. So we're gonna right click, add new metric, and we'll move that down. Again, they have to be in the right order, so we'll move that down. And then again, add new metric, move down, move down, and we'll do sales amount. Okay, now that's pretty much it. So we'll click OK, and we're done. Let's go ahead and run our report and see if it works. Of course, we have to save it. And we'll just name this Freeform Demo. And now we'll run it, and let's take a look at our results. And there you have it. It worked fine. So there we go. Those are our results. So we have crea successfully created a freeform SQL report. All right. Now the last thing I want to show you here is how to um, use prompts in freeform SQL reports. Okay. So here we have our um, uh, freeform SQL editor open. So what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of hard coding the date we want to use, we're going to add a prompt here. So let's delete the date from our SQL here, and then let's right click in the space and say insert new prompt, or add new prompt, sorry, add new prompt. That'll bring up our prompt wizard here. And then let's click next. We'll choose our attribute, and we'll choose date. 
Okay, we'll click and we'll just click finish. And it's going to make us save our prompt. So we'll just say choose a date. And we'll click save. And now you'll notice here it says you have inserted an uh, optional prompt. Use the prompt dependent SQL menu option. Any of the parts of SQL that you want to be ignored if the prompt is not answered. So what this is saying is this. How do you want the SQL to behave if the prompt is not answered, right? So in other words, if the prompt, if nobody chooses a date, if they don't choose a date, you don't want to use this where clause here, right? So this is how we handle, this is how that gets handled. You write, you, you highlight this whole statement, this where statement, or any part of the SQL statement that you don't want, that you want to be ignored if they don't answer the prompt. You right click it, and you say prompt dependent SQL. And now it, it'll, it will get turned to a pink color, a purplish pink color. And what that means is if this prompt is not answered, this, this part of the SQL statement will be ignored. It will not be executed. Okay? And then we'll click OK. And now let's run our report. We'll click Yes, so it'll save it before we run it. And then there you go. Here is our prompt. So now let's choose a date here. We'll just choose the same date as before so you can see it works. We'll choose the date. Click Finish. And there you have it. That is the date we chose from our prompt. And now we have a prompted freeform SQL report. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI related content. And thanks for watching.